Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my May favorites. So I, as usual, love doing these videos. I tell you guys this every time. Um, favorites are really just cool videos to watch because I'm nosy and I just want to see what everybody's been digging. And you know, in turn, I should share with you what I've been loving for the past month. So in an effort not to make this video 800 million years long, we're going to get started. So first, let's just talk about the elephant that is in the room, or perhaps it's not an elephant, but I'm sporting a new cut over here. Um, I got a little undercut on the side of my head here, so I'll show you a little bit more. I may have to zoom in a bit, but we have a nice little side shave going, and everything else is long and very... um. Hollywood curled <laughs> is what we're going to call it. So that is what we're doing. I wanted to kind of funk it up a little bit. And I think this is a nice little funky way to uh, start the summer off. So actually, um, a lady mentioned to me when she saw, she was like, you have a very sassy haircut. And I like that description. It's a sassy haircut. So just wanted to show you guys, if you follow me on any of my socials, you saw that I posted a picture the other day once I got a cut. Um, my boy Damien, who's amazing, went ahead and did this for me. And of course, Elon, who I've linked in past videos before, I believe, always takes care of my hair. So there you have it. So now, let's talk about the things that you are here for, the makeup and skincare. So we actually do have a little bit of skincare to share today. So a little backstory, my skin, I don't know what it's up to. <laughs> I'll be quite honest. I have been going through a phase for about the last month and a half or so where I have just been breaking out like crazy along my cheeks. Now, thankfully, with the power of makeup, you can't see it as much right now, hopefully. Um, and actually, it is getting a little bit better. I have a couple new breakouts. I think they're stress related. Moving on. <laughs> um, but I've been looking for products to either A, help diminish the breakouts that I'm having and B, almost more importantly, lighten the dark spots that come anytime I get a breakout. So um, I have them along my chin and I just kind of want to lighten all of those areas because if you have skin similar to mine or even not similar and you just tend to get dark spots, dark spots as a result of breakouts, you feel my pain. So in that effort, I've been doing so much research and reading all sorts of blogs and reviews and different things. And I had decided to take the plunge and pick up a couple items from the Sunday Riley line. So I picked up these two and this is the Luna Sleeping Oil. And then this one is the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. So I picked up these two. I wasn't sure if I was gonna love them was more than willing to take them back. I picked up initially the UFO oil. Um, that's a newer addition to her line that's, I think, 1.5% salicylic acid. And I was hoping that that would help clear up the, the breakouts that I was having. I used it for about a week. I may have needed to use it a little bit longer. And if you guys are big fans of that, definitely leave some comments down below and let me know if I should have given it a little bit more of a try. Uh, but after about a week, I didn't see any decrease in the breakouts that I was having. They didn't seem to be getting any smaller. Um, I didn't have any new breakouts, but it wasn't doing anything for the breakouts that I was currently having on my skin. And like I said, I used it for about a week. Um, I tend to have a sense of if a product's gonna work for me or not within the first couple of days of using it. So um, when I didn't see a big response and that, I decided to kind of switch to these other things. Now, another concern I was having is I am getting a little bit older. I know you can't tell, I know that's shocking for you, <laughs> but I am getting a little bit older. And so I've heard nothing but good things about the benefits of lactic acid and um, a retinoid sort of cream for your skin as you age. So I decided, here goes nothing. Let's just try these two products and see what happens. So I actually started, I used the Sunday Good Jeans before and didn't love it, but I definitely didn't give it a full shot. Um, I actually started with the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Um, and this is the one that has a transretinoic acid ester. So it's just a big kind of subsidiary of 
the larger Retin-A, Retinoid um, umbrella. And so I tried this first. I did notice that when I woke up in the morning that my skin did look a little brighter, a little more supple. Um, it's kind of hard to explain what I was noticing in my skin. Um, more importantly, with the combination of these two, I did notice that while it didn't um, inhibit the breakouts that I was having, I did have a couple more peek through um, in the interim, but that was right around um, that time of the month as well. So who knows what was going on in my body. <laughs> but I did notice with the combination of these two that my skin did look lighter, brighter, more supple. Um, and in particular with this one, I was noticing some subtle fading of the dark spots on my skin. And that was within a couple days of using this. So as I mentioned, I started with this one. I went in with this one for a full week before I add anything else just to be sure that I wouldn't have any reactions to it. And then I went ahead and added the good genes. Um, the suggestion is that you use them together. You put Luna on first, let it soak into the skin, and then put on good genes. And so with these two um, in combination, I don't use an additional moisturizer. This is plenty moisture for my skin at night. Um, and when I wake up in the morning, I do feel as though, like I said, there's some fading. It, my skin does appear brighter um, and those kind of things. So I have seen enough of a result to continue using it. Now the combination together, I've only been using for about two weeks. Um, there was a period where I didn't use the Luna and I just used the Good Jeans, especially right, right around my breakout time to see if it would help facilitate getting through those um, breakouts. Um, and they did appear a little bit smaller, but it wasn't like some dramatic event as far as my acne is concerned. Um, but when I did, stop using this one for a couple days to only use this one, I did notice a different a difference in my skin. So I really do appreciate the combination together um, and they have been working out really well for me. So there is a comment on both of these products that you can experience some purging of the skin. Um, in other words, as the lactic acid is working through your skin and kind of revealing this layer, if there are some um, areas of your skin that have poor clogs or things like that, that will come to the surface quicker. So you will have more breakouts. So the product directions say. So I could be just experiencing that because um, again, it's only been two weeks that I've been using these together. So we may just be going through a purge right now. So we'll see. But I've seen enough changes and benefits in my skin and more importantly, no reactions um, to the products that I will continue to use them. So as I mentioned, it's only been about two weeks, but I do intend to continue to use them and I will update you and let you know how things are going. But so far, so good. I absolutely love it. So that is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans and Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Very, ex very expensive products, but very worth the price, I do believe. So that is the skincare. So let's move on to a little bit more skincare hybrid makeup situations. And I will be referring to the Melanie Mills Hollywood Body Gleam Radiance, Gleam Body Radiance Creams. So I have two of them here. I have one in Deep Gold and then I have one in Rose Gold. I have a tiny one in Rose Gold. So I picked these up because I was really interested. I actually got them last summer and I don't think I really used it that much. Um, but I wanted to try these on my legs <laughs> to make them nice and shiny and beautiful for those nights out when I want to just do a little bit extra. And so that's why I picked them up. So again, this one is in deep gold and this is what I use on my legs um, anytime I'm wearing maybe a short skirt or some shorts now that we've kind of entered some of the warmer months. Um, I do absolutely love this. It is transfer resistant. And so if you apply it with no, uh, as a moisturizer, like with no other, um, lotions or creams on your legs, then it does stay a little bit better. I haven't actually noticed it on my clothes at all. Um, this in combination with the self tanning practices that I've been trying to incorporate in my situation, um, my legs look really, really, really good. And I think it was more so this than the self tanner because the tanner doesn't get me terribly dark, but it does even out some things, but we're not here to talk about the tanner. So anyway, that is the, the deep go and I use this on my legs. And then this one is the rose go. 
So the rose gold I've been using with the buffer brush um, as a base and primer for my makeup. And so as of late, like I have a full beat happening right now, but usually in my everyday, like after this is over, I'm probably just going to wash my face and just do what I do every day when I go out a little later because it's so hot here in Chicago today. Um, but as a base, I would use this as a primer and it just gives a nice overall glow to the skin. I'll put a little bit on my hand and show you. So perhaps you can see there, it just adds a very glowy finish to the skin. Nothing too crazy, but it does serve to make you look very, very, very glowy. And so I use that as a base and then I put, um, you know, my concealer, spot conceal on my face, a little concealer under my eyes, buff that out, um, set my under eyes with some powder and then I'm on my way. I mean, I do my brows of course, and, if I'm fancy that day, a little bit of bronzer, but mostly just a little bit of highlight. So that's kind of been my everyday go-to look. And this has been um, kind of lovely to add that radiance underneath as a base. So I really like that guy. Now, what's funny today as I went to apply my makeup, um, I didn't use this, but I did apply my foundation with the brush that I always use this with because my brush was not clean. My bad. Let's just be real how it goes around here. So anyway, the brush that I was using was this Real Techniques brush. And I always apply that Melanie Mills to my face with it. So it was definitely some residual left. And then when I applied my foundation, I was like, oh, I'm so glowy. And I was like, oh, yeah, because I used that brush. But actually, I really like how it turned out. So I'm a bit glowy and dewy today, but I've been loving that look anyway. So it's fine. Um, so yeah, this definitely... Uh, I wouldn't say it extends the length of my makeup, but it doesn't break down terribly quickly either. Like I do it for an all day situation and it's just fine. So speaking of the foundation I'm wearing today, I have been back and forth thinking about picking up a BB cream, a scented moisturizer or something for the summer. And then it dawned on me, hey, crazy, you have this other foundation that's super light coverage, won't you just use that? And that is the Makeup Forever Water Bland Foundation. I have the shade Y455 and that is what I'm wearing today and I absolutely love it. Um, again, it's a very sheer coverage. It is buildable. Um, I didn't attempt it to build it today, actually. Um, what I just did was apply it to my face and then I just spot concealed in the places like along my cheeks where I have some um, kind of fading marks. Yeah, so I absolutely love this foundation. It wears all day. I mean, it has a really, really good lasting powder. So I think I'm going to be shopping my stash and turning to this instead of picking up a different BB cream for the summer. So, or tinted moisturizer. So that again, that is the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation. Foundation. I'm in the shade Y445 and I have it on today and I love it. I love it. I love it. So that is that. Um, moving on to something else a little interesting. Again, shopping my stash. I've been trying to do that a little bit more lately. Um, I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. And this is what I use to spot conceal on my face today, the little areas of pigmentation that I want to cover. And it's just a really good, really cheap concealer. And so funny, my friend asked me about it the other day. And I couldn't remember the name of it to save my life. But later, like three days later, I remember we were talking about this so this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal I've talked about it a million times I won't go into detail here but I love it and it's like less than five dollars wherever you can find it and now they sell it at Ulta so that's pretty cool very cheap very good concealer all right mm. What else we want to talk about today? Oh, well, let's just move into some powders. Now this powder I hauled so very long ago and then it was just kind of sitting around. I don't know why. <laughs> and then I decided as I was doing this kind of minimal makeup look that I've been doing honestly for the past, geez, month and a half, I think, to set my under eye concealer, I didn't want to go in with something really heavy or something that really brighten the under eye. It's gonna look really weird to have this super bright under eye and then this kind of natural look everywhere else. So I was like, oh, let me go grab this powder that I haven't used hardly ever <laughs> and try that. And that is the Bobbi Brown Loose Powder and this is in the shade Golden Orange. I am so glad I picked this up and held on to it for this 
shopping mustache situation that I've been working with. This is such a good powder for your under eye if you're not trying to do this crazy brightening technique on definitely lends and it definitely lends well to more natural finish days. So I've been loving this. It comes in this little container and As you can see there, it's definitely kind of a goldy, peachy kind of color, hence the name Golden Orange is pretty appropriate. Um, I can swatch it. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference, but that's the powder there. It's a good translucent yet slightly colored powder. It's a very interesting thing. It's hard for me to explain. I guess because I'm more of a deeper skin tone, this is more of a translucent color on me. It doesn't add a ton of coverage at all. Um, so it is translucent in that sense, but it does blend out well. It sets my under eye well, doesn't look cakey, has a very natural finish and I love, it's great. <laughs> so that is that. Um, needless to say, I'm just going to have to mention this product again because I can't stop, won't stop with it. And that is the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in Bronzed Amber. This is surely, quickly becoming my all-time favorite highlight of life. I know I've said that before, specifically about Champagne Pop, which I still do love, but this one is lending so well to my everyday natural minimal, not natural, let's go with minimal makeup look. And this is bronze amber here. So as you can see, there's quite the divot in the middle because I legit have been using this every single day. So I will swatch it on my finger there. And it is just so stinking pretty. Now that's it swatched on my hand. And again, you can probably barely see it, but oh my gosh, it's the highlight that I have on today, which I don't know if you can tell because I can't see detail like that in my viewfinder because I don't have my glasses on. Just going to be honest with you. Um, but it provides the a subtle... It's weird. On my skin tone, it, it definitely gives you a glow. It gives you a amazing glow, but it's so similar to my skin tone where it's just that. It's just a glow. And I mean, it can be an intense glow. Like I packed it on pretty good today. Now, because I have zero intention of wearing this makeup throughout the day, I didn't spritz my face with Fix Plus, which I typically do. And let me tell you, Fix Plus on top of this bronze amber it's crazy time. Like you are a glowy goddess. And I absolutely love that. It's hard for me to talk to y'all with this eye cover. You know what I'm saying? So I keep sweeping it back out of my face. So let's just get that there. Okay, that'll work. So it is just such glowy goodness when you spray, oh goodness, when you spray the top of it with Fix Plus that I absolutely love it. So it rightfully is, I'm going to hit pan sooner than later on this puppy. I already know it because again, I use it every single day. So this is bronze amber. I tend to put it on the tops of my cheeks. I bring it down onto my cheek right there because I just think that's cute. Um, down my bridge of my nose. I do a little bit of my forehead here on my chin. I mean, I pretty much dunk my whole face in it. Let's just be honest. But you know, that is how I feel about this puppy. I love it so hard it goes let's put it put it close to the heart because we love it so much so that is the bronzed amber shimmery skin perfector from becca cosmetics so we got two more products they are both lip products and then we're going to be done with this video and number one we might as well talk about it is what i'm wearing today this is the charlotte tilbury color and the shade a pillow talk it is so, so pretty. And I've talked about this before in the favorites. It doesn't look on my face today as pink as it is in the swatch. And that's on purpose because I did line my lips with cork from MAC just to subdue the color a little bit. I didn't want a super pink look with this with this smoky eye I wanted something a little more neutral so this combination is what I have on my lips today and I absolutely love it 
This lipstick feels so good. Um, it does have a slightly matte finish. Definitely not a shimmery finish. Definitely not a completely matte finish, but just a slightly matte finish. And I absolutely love it. It it wears pretty well, but I mean, it's a lipstick, so you do need to reapply. But honestly, it feels so good that I don't mind reapplying it. And the packaging is so stinking cute. I mean, Charlotte Tilbury kills it with the packaging. Look at that rose gold gorgeousness. I absolutely love to just bam, whip this out, and then have my little compact. I'm like, oh. you know, all fancy. <laughs> so I do love this guy. I've talked about it before, but I wanted to mention it again because I've been wearing it a ton this past month. One of my favorite pinks is Machio from NARS. It's one of um, the lipsticks in the Audacious line. But I've really been looking for a liquid lip um, that is as bright and beautiful as that one because that's actually just a regular lipstick. Um, so I have turned to the good old ColourPop. And this is the Ultra Satin Lip Color and the color Mr. I'm sorry, in the color The Rabbit, not Mr. Rabbit. And so it is a super vibrant pink. Ugh with almost a blue shift, and it is so pretty on. Look at that pink, it is absolutely gorgeous. Like this is what I've been wearing so often. Oh my God, it's so pretty. The most amazing part about this is it is only $6, and the Ultra Satin Liquid Lipstick Formula is definitely one of my favorites. It goes on very comfortably, and it doesn't dry matte, but it does dry down a little bit, and that little bit of dry down definitely provides a longer wear with this lipstick, so I, I really, really like it. So I definitely don't have to reapply it a ton, but definitely after eating and stuff like that, I will go ahead and reapply it. So that is from ColourPop and it's called The Rabbit. Other than that, I think that's about it. Now we could mention the high keys that just recently launched, but I just did a whole video on those. So I will definitely link those here shortly. But other for, for beauty, these have been my favorites for the month. But as always, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't seen my most recent video where I talked about those key sunglasses, I will definitely leave that guy here um, just kind of floating in the air. And if you haven't subscribed already, definitely do so on the way out. I really hope you will. We are so close to a thousand, so let's go ahead and get us there. So I'll add a little icon here that will help you subscribe just a little bit quicker. As always, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!